once upon a time, there was a young girl called Little Red Riding Hood, or at least that's what everybody called her. They called her that because her grandmother made her a red riding hooded cloak. Speaking of her grandmother, she is sick in bed right now, so Little Red is about to go visit her with a basket of delicious baked goods. Little Red, Little Red rock, walked down the path leading to the forest where her grandma lived, which is really inconvenient, by the way, and felt confident she knew the way to her grandma's house. But after a few minutes of walking, she got lost. Oh no, I'm lost. I need my phone. Oh no, no Wi-Fi? How am I supposed to survive? Suddenly, a huge macho wolf popped out of the bushes and in front of Little Red. Like the taste of this restaurant's food. 
if you come with us, we can go around the, around the world and taste the good food. So do you want to come with us? Also, we don't mind. Uh, yeah, really, okay. Bring me with you guys. I wanna buy you. I'm investing in trouble. Need to go to my dealers with you. So, I'm not deep. Okay, then. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So off they went to the city of Milan. They walked and walked and walked until they found a very big tree for them to rest on. I would like to climb the tree there. They really went up the tree and spotted a lion. Wait, there's a lion over there. I think it's a hound. Let's go there and ask if we can rest. The animals got to the house, but they saw something weird. Guys, I, I think the guys inside, there are robbers. Why do you say that? They have all the money in the bag. Interesting. Let's hatch a plan. How about we do magic to scare them? Yeah, that's good, yeah, right? So, okay, while you guys distract them, I will scare them from the bed. Okay. Hee hee hee! Okay, look, I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna count them on One, two, three. Then the animals got the attention of the robber and the magic trick. While the tree was distracting the robbers, the crocodile sneaked up on the robber and scared him. And for the next magic trick, we're going to make something appear. And I'll just look back. The police arrived and they took the money, also putting the robbers back in jail. No, let's leave. Let's go. Let's go. After a long night of sleep, they went to the city of Milan. Yay, we're finally here, guys. Let's go make magic show. Then the animals had the most marvelous magic show. They became famous in the city of Milan in no time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Burning with anger, the villager struck all the hill. Once again, John was satisfied. When his father came home and heard what John had done again, he was not happy. John, he said to John, John, you need to stop what you're doing or you'll actually end up in trouble. Yeah, yeah, Dad, he replied. A few days later, his father had to go through another village once again. John, remembering what his father said, decided to stop for the real this time. Later, he went up the hill and his father departed to the village. He decided to entertain himself with rocks. However, this time he saw something come out of the corner of his eyes. He shrieked, Woo! There's a wolf! A real wolf! The villagers were tempted to go home, but they thought it was fake, and John and all of his sheep got eaten. The end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank <laughs> you.